Hello Dragon Wisps, welcome to today's advent calendar video. Today I'm going to be doing a video review on the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now this one I find to be a tricky one um, because it seems to be very split down the middle for the fan base. Uh, half of them are like, oh no, this is a Halloween film. The other half it's, oh no, it's a Christmas film. I feel it's appropriate for both. And one of my uh, favorite traditions is to watch it on the day after Halloween, you know, when the story starts. So, um, for those of you who haven't seen it, feel free to stick around for the, the uh, summary of the movie. All right. So I'm going to do the synopsis first, of course. And before I begin, as always, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel to become a Dragon Wisp if you have not yet. And for those of you that don't know, I'm doing this advent calendar every day up until Christmas. Um, I might even go all the way to New Year's. I'm releasing a, vi a video every single day. Um, I haven't fully decided yet if this is going to be in addition to my usual uploads, um, but until I decide, if I have, if I've released this after deciding, of course, um, I hope you'll bear with me. All right. So, the summary. So the nightmare before Christmas begins the day after Halloween. Well, technically the night of Halloween when they all get back, but that, that'll be like midnight anyway, so it'll be the day after. Um, in which the people of, uh, well, the, the citizens of Halloween Town are returning from another successful Halloween. Uh, and their de facto leader, Skeleton Jack, or Jack Skellington, or Pumpkin Jack, whatever you want to call him, the Pumpkin King, um, he starts to feel basically like he's in a rut. You know, he does the same thing every year, goes out, scares the people, and then comes back and then prepares for the next Halloween where he will go and once again scare the people. So he, he, he feels like there's something more and he, he, he wants to find it, you know, figure out what it is and make it his basically um there's a wide array of array of characters obviously many of which don't understand this but uh there's sally who is in love with him but he doesn't seem to quite realize it right away so anyway so he holds up for a while and then disappears no he disappears first because he went for a walk with his long skeleton legs and comes across a grove of trees in the forest each of which has a symbol painted on them you know you've got the pumpkin one the, the christmas tree easter egg you know everything and um he opens the christmas tree one and ends up getting sucked in and teleported to another realm christmas town where he finds so many things, you know, there's a whole musical number about it. There's lights everywhere. It's complete. It's beautiful. It's so cheerful. Uh, there's he, he ends up bringing it to Santa Claus. You know, the people here they're not screaming and scared, and, and you can you can feel the the warmth and love coming from them and everything. And uh, he decides, you know what, this is exactly what I've been missing. So he goes back to Halloween Town, uh, brings some stuff from Christmas Town to demonstrate to everybody um, and you know convinces them this year we are gonna do Christmas why it's different let's show them how we do it sort of thing um, he pays lock shock and barrel the three little trick-or-treaters if you will uh, to go and kidnap Santa Claus or Sandy Claus as uh, Jack mistakenly names him um, and they give him to Oogie Boogie who is the antagonist I guess you could call him I don't 100% I don't blame Oogie Boogie for being the way he is I mean he's a, a denizen of Halloween Town so obviously he's just following who he is but anyway um, 
So after they've kidnapped Santa Claus, they, they get, make all the preparations for Christmas. But they do it the Halloween Town way. So instead of just like a pull along rubber duck, it is now a demon vampire duck and everything. You know, they, they make all the presents scary, uh, evil creatures, which, again, to them, is not evil, it's just them. Um, proving, like, the people of Halloween Town don't have the full capabilities, as it were, to step away from who they are to perform this act. Uh, you know, uh, Sally spends the movie warning Jack, like, don't do this, don't do this. This isn't you. Please don't do this. Something bad's going to happen. Um, but he doesn't listen, obviously. So he ends up taking uh, taking the sleigh full of their presents into the human world, delivers them, and the presents start doing what they're designed to do. You know, scaring, hurting, all sorts of things. Um, the police end up getting called, the National Guard, and they end up shooting Jack out of the sky. And then Jack realizes, wait... I'm the Pumpkin King. This is who I am. I am Halloween. So he comes to his revelation. You know what? I've got ideas for next year and everything. Um, oh, oh snap! I, I, I've got to, I've got to make everything right again. So he goes back, rescues Santa Claus and Sally. And you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is who I am. This is who you are. Please save the day. That's an interesting summary, actually. Hmm. It's definitely one of those, it's the journey, not the destination movies. Um, but, like, so yeah, overall, it is, once in, once more, a feel-good movie. So now let's begin the actual review. Let's see. Um, for animation, I am going to give five dragon eggs. Um, because... While claymation isn't done widely as much anymore, the amount of effort and painstaking detail and everything that went into making this movie was incredible. I, I, you know, I think watching the special features and everything, they had hundreds of facial expressions to match what the characters are doing, what they're saying, what they're thinking, how they're feeling. Uh, anybody who's done any form of claymation knows that you are taking pictures of everything posed. And uh, having done claymation uh, back in school, 10 seconds of video is essentially like four hours of just posing take picture pose take picture to pose pay take picture like each second has so many pictures in it so that they they move more smoothly so that that alone was impressive enough for it to earn its five eggs story the story is incredible um the special edition DVD of it had come with the poem that Jim Henson, not Jim Henson, Jim Henson, not Jim Henson, Tim Burton, I believe Tim Burton wrote it. Anyway, a whole poem that that, that he had wrote, uh, written, that was only like actually a few pages long, and he turned this into an entire movie. Like, the, like I said, the story, incredible. There were a couple iffy parts. So I'm only going to give it four, four eggs. But just because, like, I feel there definitely could have been much more character building. Uh, uh, songs. Five eggs. Every single song in that movie is catchy gets into your head the entire soundtrack was remade by all sorts of people you know you had uh amy lee uh sang sally's song um 
Marilyn Manson did This Is Halloween. Like, everything. To be, to be to the point where the entire soundtrack gets remade, that in itself, I feel, earns its five eggs. Replayability, rewatchability. I am giving, once again, five eggs. Uh, like I said, I do enjoy watching this the day after Halloween and getting into the spirit of things. I could definitely watch it over and over again. Um... Overall, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go characters, character design, character building. Five stars for design, four stars for building. Because, like I said, there was much more that potential for the background characters to have. But I feel they covered a, 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 a fair bit of that in the Kingdom Hearts games. So that covers that. Um, and overall, five eggs five ready to hatch eggs for nightmare before christmas so thank you for joining me for today's advent calendar video today's review i hope to see you tomorrow and until then have a peaceful day bye